ஹாய் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் அகெயின் வெல்கம் டு இன்க்ரேடிபிள் லேர்னிங் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் ஞானா லேர்னிங் கண்டினியூயிங் வித் த லெக்சர் ஆன் டிஜிட்டல் சிக்னல் ப்ராசஸிங் அண்ட் டுடேஸ் லெக்சர் இஸ் ஆன் டிஜிட்டல் ஃபில்டர்ஸ் ஸோ ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஆஃப் ஆல் வி வாண்ட் டு நோ வாட் ஆர் ஃபில்டர்ஸ் ஸோ பேசிக்கலி என் எலக்ட்ரானிக் ஃபில்டர் is one which perform a signal processing by rejecting or removing the unwanted frequencies from the input signal and allow the desired frequencies at the output now the range of frequencies that have passed through the filter is called as pass band and the range of frequencies that are blocked by the filter is called as stop band so basically a filter is one which allow the desired frequency and reject the unwanted frequency next we move on to the classification of filters so here is a diagram showing the various types of filters so basically we can classify the filters into two type that is analog filter and digital filter now under analog filter again we can classify the filter under two types that is based on the element type used and the frequency band now under the element types used we have active filters and passive filters then based on the frequency band we have low pass filter high pass filter band pass filter and band stop filter now under digital filter we have ir filter and fir filter so first of all we will look what is an analog filter so analog filters are those which process an analog input and generate analog outputs that is they work with analog signals or actual signals now this analog filters are constructed from active or passive electronic components and they are described by a differential equation now moving on to digital filter they work with digital samples of the signal or they processes and generates digital data now digital filter it consists of elements like adder multiplier subtractor and delay elements and they are described by difference equation so that is a analog filter and digital filter now under analog filter the first type that is based on the element type we have active filter and passive filter so active filter active filters are those which make use of active elements such as transistors or pams etc in addition to resistors and capacitors in their filter design and passive filters are those which built with passive components like resistors capacitors and inductors so that is mean by the element type that is a element type used for the filter design now based on the frequency band we have four types that is low pass filter high pass filter band pass filter and band stop filter so the first one low pass filter so a low pass filter is one which allows low frequency that is from 0 to a particular critical frequency it allows the frequency from 0 hertz to some critical frequency and block the other frequencies now high pass filter means those filter which allow high frequency that is from a critical frequency to infinity and block the low frequency now band pass filter it allows signal falling within a certain frequency band and it blocks the lower and higher frequencies now band stop filter it blocks the signal falling within a certain band and allows the low frequency and high frequency that is the band stop filter so that's about the analog filter and moving on to digital filter we have ir filter and fir filter ir filter it is a infinite impulse response filter and fir filter it is a finite impulse response filter so we will discuss in detail about the digital filter so in digital signal processing we have to concentrate in digital filters that is those which filter which process and generates digital data 
and in digital filter we have two types that is IAR filter and FAR filter that is infinite impulse response filter and finite impulse response filter that is their design how we can design a IAR filter and FAR filter and all. So first one that is IAR filters. So IAR filter that is infinite impulse response filter. So here there is a feedback in the filter that is if we put an impulse as input an infinite number of non-zero values will come out and they are recursive time which means the present output sample depends on the present input past input sample is an output sample. So it is an IAR filter. Now moving on to FAR filters that is finite impulse response filter they do not use feedback in the filter that is for a FAR filter with n coefficients output always becomes zero after putting in n samples of an impulse response and they are non-recursive type that is present output sample depends on the present input sample and previous input sample. So that's the FAR filters. Next, we will have a comparison of two types of digital filters that is FAR filter and IAR filter. So, FAR filter, they can be designed to have perfectly linear phase characteristics and IAR filter, they do not have linear phase characteristics. Now, FAR filter can be realized as non-recursive type and on the other side, IAR filter can be realized as recursive type. Now, FAR filters have greater flexibility to control the shape of their magnitude response and for IAR filter, they are less, less flexibility, usually limited to a specific kind of filters. Now, in FAR filter, no feedback will be there in the filter and in IAR filter, feedback involved in the design of the filter. Now, for FAR filters, error due to round off noise are less severe because feedback is not used. And in case of IAR filters, round off noise are more severe due to the feedback. Now, FAR filters are more stable compared to the IAR filters. So, that's basically about FAR filters and IAR filters. Now, in upcoming lecture, we will discuss the design of FAR filters and IAR filters. So thanks for watching the video, watch upcoming lectures for studying the design of FAR filters and IAR filters. For more videos, subscribe our channel Nyanalani. Thank you. Thank you so much.